Let's get to know our world. Rudd Gullet was born on September 1, 1962 in Amsterdam. This is a well-known Dutch footballer who became a good coach at the end of his professional career. He is one of the best footballers of the XX century. And of course, this guy got into FIFA 100. He has a lot of success and a very interesting career, so it's worth telling about all this. Young Years Rudd Gullet, Suriname and his mistress named Maria Deal, an immigrant son. The footballer's father had three children and an official family. True, Ruda, along with her mother, totally provided. Many of the boy even met his sisters and brothers. And Rudd Gullet started with street football, he lived in the Jordan area and dribbled a ball with local men at his court. And the first team was a young FC named Mirboys. Rudd arrived in 1970. But when he was 10 years old, he moved with his mother to Oud West, another part of Amsterdam. The previous conditions were terrible, the room is only 6.5 by 4 meters. But even after moving, Rudd continued to play football. Interestingly, he met a boy named Frank Rijkaard when he was a child. And he, as everyone knows well, was a true star of Dutch football at that time. The way little Rudd Gullet played the local ice command couldn't go unnoticed. This was seen by the coaches of the Dutch youth team. So the boy was invited to the team where he started to enter the professional level. Then, after a while, representatives of Ajax contacted him. However, the contract was not signed as they wanted the young man to come with his mother and father. After all, his parents worked and were very busy. On a single visit by a teenager, Ajax refused. Now Rudd Gullet says he hasn't heard anything more stupid since then. The club wanted him, but he had to come with his family. Club career. In 1978, the player began competing for Harlem. His first professional career in the first team became the youngest player in senior history at the age of 16. Rudd Gullet showed himself perfectly, scoring goals and assisting. The head coach was even called Dutchman Duncan Edwards. He joined the Feyenoord team in 1982 for $550,000. Together with this club he won the cup and the national championship. In 1984, the young man was recognized as the best football player of the Netherlands. The following year he moved to PSV. There it was again recognized as the best in the Netherlands. And in PSV the football player showed himself as a world-class player. It was noticed by really good clubs there. Therefore, in 1987, Rude Gullet accepted the offer from Milan, he gave him $8,900, and went to Italy. He won with the Scudetto team in the first season. Ummit of success. Rude Gullet, whose photos are introduced above, became one of the best Milan players. He showed himself as a strong and technical footballer. Even with an injury in the Champions Cup final, he played 90 minutes and made the auxiliary pass. Then, Milan won the Benfica. True, over time, the actor began to lose his talent. In the 1992-93 season, he didn't even make it to the Champions League final. Because in 1993, the football player moved to Sampdoria. 
In the first season, he and the team won the Italian trophy. Many fans of the team fell in love with Rude Gullet. The best goals of this season became important for the team. The ball, for example, scored against Milan, former club, and became decisive in the final match of the Italian Cup. The Dutch showed a very convincing and technical game, that's why AC Milan invited him again. In 1995, the footballer moved to Chelsea as a free agent. Meanwhile, the actor assures that his time in London is the happiest period of his life. Coaching activities. Rude Gullet is a footballer with a legend. This is one of the times when a great warrior becomes a great trainer. In 1996, he made his way to Chelsea while continuing to play. In his first season, he and the club won a victory in the FA Cup. But the next year, when Chelsea stood firmly in second place in the Premier League and made it to the quarter-finals of each English Cup, Orr was fired. What shocked him? He could not even imagine that people who need to work and communicate on a daily basis cannot do the same. But then, Newcastle United started training and led the team to the National Cup final. He then headed to the youth team of the Netherlands and took over the Feyenoord in 2005-06. He coached the Los Angeles Gala for another year. And then, went to Russia. About a year coaching players, Tarek. However, he was criticized and fired, they say, the team played with very bad results. But that wasn't his fault, he's a good coach after all, and this is evidenced not only by the results of previous teams, but also by more than a dozen personal achievements.